to come out maybe it's because I'm alone somebody else is chauffeuring the kiddo to activities and today I forgot all of the things that I've been recording so that I do remember <laughs> I guess it's a good thing that I'm recording because I need to listen. But this is a reminder that any time is a good time. Oh, I'm already getting a yes. <laughs> a very tingly yes. To come and sit and listen. Ooh, and to be tingled and breathed. Hello. Good evening. It's good to be reminded to come into yourself. I was feeling constricted. I found myself taking shorter breaths. So they didn't go through my whole body. But coming out here and taking a full breath, poof very electric I want to feel like this all the time and while these recordings are mostly doing psychic practices and asking and listening, you can also ask for what you want and follow desires. What, well, I guess that's related, going into your psychic imagination space and conjuring up what you want. I want to feel tingly and electric and alive all the time. Even while sleeping. What different dreams will I have? One's outside of the house, which is the psyche. Maybe. Or maybe reaching up into the taller levels and the building of the coming. Oof. Okay. Yes, <laughs> to that. <laughs> I do this all the time how do I do it do I need to know or do I just do it I just ask and do it any 
breath can be a breath to remember that this is what it feels like to feel your spirit, the spirit, the spirit in the body that you call you. The lake is completely still. The trees are looking at their perfect reflection in the water. On a walk yesterday, I was looking down at a puddle and thinking about the reflection, just looking at the reflection. And kind of letting it be like a magic eye where you just look at a certain aspect of it and maybe you kind of forget that it is water and leaves. And you look at it with completely new eyes. Looking at the reflection, how is it that we see that it's water? It's, we see the reflection of whatever is above the water. How are we, our bodies, which are mostly water, what are we reflections of? And what things are in our depths creating in the dark? You can just sit and feel the gentle flow of electric energy pulsing through you and you can do this anywhere even if there are teenagers <laughs> hollering next door who cares about looking weird meditation is totally accepted <laughs> In most areas, I should hope. I've actually just been out here by myself moving in whatever ways. I feel inspired to move and just telling that portion of myself that's worried about being judged that I am doing yoga, clearly. Clearly. Oh, hi. Speaking of which, Meditations can be moving. And I guess that's what I would like to have in my life all the time. When I'm checking emails, how can that be a moving meditation? I don't know if that feels like a reach. <laughs> but Maybe I could try to get into that space. Sometimes I think, ah, oh, that's 
a little too woo, you know. People don't actually get things done unless they're going to go and do those things and like be productive and all of that. You need to walk both worlds, I tell myself. I want to do both. I want to, you know, I am envious of those who are up on the mountain just dealing with themselves. Sounds refreshing. But I can do that here in the moments that we have. I can walk between two worlds. Why not? Like having both hands, one on each side of a plane of existence. And in meshing your fingers and bringing those two together, letting them mix together, mm. oh, yes, okay. I'm getting a, you already know the ways that spirit can enrich your life. You get those pings all the time. You think, yes, I can use that asking here. I can ask about this. I can ask about that. I can ask about this and that and the other thing. And I want to use it for everything. Use this tool everywhere. to be better in my life and just better all around. Let spirit in everywhere and be guided in everything, even if it's what do I do in this moment? What is the next thing that I should do? I already see all the opportunities to let it in and there's this part of me that is still not ready to ask in that moment. I think, well, this is the way I have been doing it. It's been good enough, but it's not. It's not. It probably never has been good enough. I mean, I've been stumbling around. Oh, there's so many questions that I ask of myself and feeling like I don't have all the information to make the decision. Is it that Libra heavy stuff? Evaluate every aspect before making a decision? Probably. I, mean, I don't know how many of us are that way, but I am certainly that way. Overly analytical. And so... If an iteration of myself, my higher selves, are also analytical, why not ask them? Because they can see so much more, right? Yes. Why don't you ask? Why do you feel like you have to be the one always with the weight on your shoulders? It doesn't have to be like that.
job is to open my eyes to the opportunities and ask which one is in the most alignment with the vision of where I want to go. But do I know where I want to go? I kind of have an idea, but I want to leave that open to possibility. What do I want my parameters to be though? I personally want to move to a particular area because, and while I could live anywhere and be happy anywhere, I want to live where this interface can interact in an area where I can be with them and have a home to invite the others into have a home to invite other people into, to see what more is possible for the land, because I want land to create like an edible food forest. Of course I want space that I can just have the time be more my own, less driving, but still the availability of necessities without too much difficulty because I do like convenience. I walk the fence between, oh, I could totally be a city girl and I could also have an enormous garden where people would come and have their own community garden there in my space and open up and that way. I don't know, it just feels like there's so many possibilities, so my parameters. I'm mostly wishing to be around loved ones and people who are on my same wavelength, riding similar, similar ocean currents. possibilities play in your imagination space and then you don't have to know everything but you do remember to ask which thing do I do in this moment which way do I take can I ask for a piece of land to be saved for me in a particular area? (sighs) 
That's why I question. That's why I question. Is wanting to be that involved? Is there something sticky there? Am I annoyed that there are so many people imposing their wills, their own small wills on things that it makes everything sticky and I don't want to do that too. We don't know all of the next steps. We just point in a direction. And your higher self, your iterations, know that direction. But, you know, I'm curious, like, the iterations of higher selves, are they created in the moments, each moment that we decide something? Does that open up the pathway to possibility? So, for example, do I have a higher self that is a tangent from the 17-year-old who made a different decision than I did? Huh. Like, how many are there? Do they connect? Like, who who do I... Where do I go? So it's important to set some parameters around your visions to give them a little bit more oomph because otherwise, there's so many possibilities. So many possibilities. I know we're used to feeling limited. In a single day, I certainly feel limited by time. Mostly it feels like time just slips through your fingers. And I remember being a child and watching those, oh, what are they called? Where you flip it and the sand falls from one to the down to the other why can I not think of what that's called right now (laughs) of course I can't uh don't say that to yourself okay um I could remember I would watch it and I would think of all the different ways of playing with time that might sound odd but I'll tell you right now I mean I all children are odd are they not hopefully they are because who else is going to experiment like we want them to experiment and bring their ideas i mean some of them are bad ideas at least for a child (laughs) but you know that's why we have to as adults recover that inner child and say like, okay, so you see the form that we're working with, now you can have your freedom. Isn't that why we take classes and anything to see the structure and then play within that structure? That's what art is, it's freedom within form. Take that with you, build your building, build your time. Non-restrictively, open up. That's that's the message for me anyway, and for any of you in this similar space, is to open, open up. I do not have to be in control of Okay, that was a huge yes. <laughs> and now it's time to go do the next thing. 
knowing that there is this charge within us at all times, in all moments. Breathe it in, ask, and it'll be there, okay? Breathe it in, ask, and it'll be there. Maybe ask questions the way that I might question, asking questions now in this fluid format. <laughs> no form. But then out of that deep water, the plants arise to the top and create beauty and an ecosystem within and without. You are an ecosystem above and below and all the in-betweens. Take that with you. Maybe that is where our responsibility lies in, in our own ecosystem. What do we, what are, what are we cultivating in ourselves? That is within our sphere of what we play with. And that will be a question that I ask again and see what the answer is.